Today, I'll be showing you guys how to do your crypto taxes if you have the hit BTC wallet. Okay, so a quick breakdown of this video. I am going to talk about the wallet itself uh, originally, and then I'm going to uh, show you how to do um, your integrations with Coinly, of course, how to do your crypto taxes if you have this wallet. And then I will jump into how to download the necessary tax documentation. And lastly, I'll leave you with some resources if you have questions, if you want to talk to our staff and stuff like that. But without further ado, let's jump into today's video. So the hit BTC wallet was founded in 2013 and it's based out of uh, Hong Kong. It is a currently top 70 um, exchange by trading volume. It allows users to do your standard types of trading. So your spot, um, your margin, and it has investments in futures and well as well if you're interested in that. Uh, most interesting tab, in my opinion, is the trading contest tab, which I don't think I've seen on many other exchanges. If you know any other ones, obviously let me know. Uh, but this tab has leaderboards for its community, for its traders, and even prizes in cryptocurrency for whoever the highest trader is within a given period with, you know, with a certain currency and stuff like that. So really interesting stuff. I'm curious if anyone's actually entered any of these contests because I've seen a lot of the winners are people that trade in the you know millions of dollars range so um, definitely a, a probably a small community of, of people that are doing that but an interesting tab nonetheless okay so let's jump into the integration part of this video first and foremost as we always do we log into coinly go to the wallet section click add wallet we're gonna find the hit BTC wallet and there it is we have two different routes. The API is obviously recommended, but I will also, I'll, I will also show you how to get the CSV file. Um, but let's let's start with the API. So two things to note here: Hit BTC does not return trades for delisted coins such as VERI. Uh, this can result in balances not matching if you have loads of trades in those pairs. So I've made videos on what to do for um, delisted coins and stuff like that. I'll leave links in the top right corner top right corner of this video and in the description obviously if you if you need more information on that i don't think it's going to be a massive group of people that does but we'll leave it there just in case and then lastly you need to grant payment information access after the api key um, is created so let's find the api key and the api secret okay so we're here on the um, hit btc exchange we're going to go into the top right corner there's a little cog and it'll say settings. This website's a little bit slower, I found at least. We're gonna go to this API keys area and we're gonna create a new API key. And here is our API key. Pretty straightforward stuff. It won't ask for two-factor authentication just yet. Here is our secret, by the way. Click that and um, we're gonna go and click I understand. Um, and we're looking for two different things here. So in, in the earlier part of the video, I said we need to grant payment inf uh, information access after API creation. So we're gonna do that. And we're gonna need to put in our two-factor authentication. And after that, we need to give permission to order book history, spot balance. We're not looking to place or cancel orders, withdraw cryptocurrencies, and obviously we don't wanna allow all. So just these two settings will do. So we're gonna enter that. And there we have it. And then we're gonna go back into Coinly and click Secure Import. And this might take a few seconds um, or it'll be done pretty quick. Actually, we'll start showing our coins and the transactions we made on this platform. Okay, so that is one of two methods to get the necessary information into Coinly. The other route is obviously through CSV files. So let's go back and click um, Hit BTC. This time we're gonna click Import from File. And then we're going to go back to the platform and here there is a report section which we're going to click on so from my reports uh, on the left side here if we go to uh, wallet we have transaction history we also have right here spot and then underneath it we have my trades and here you know you'll get a summary of all the trades you've made and you can export it obviously it's a day behind so i don't have um, the current transactions in here for for today but they will be there um, tomorrow and we can export that file um, just like by clicking this button and we'll download it and then we're going to take that file and drag and drop it into Coinly and click import. Keep in mind here that you can select a date range that is appropriate for you so one year, three years, three months, whatever you need. We're not interested uh, in the XLSX uh, file, we're interested in the CSV file. So if we go back to Coinly, 
we should have our transactions imported one way or another. All right, so our transactions have been imported and now we want to get the necessary tax documentation. So let's get uh, let's head over to tax reports. Here you'll get a nice summary of all the transactions you made, your capital gains um, throughout, and then your costs and expenses. And you can use this area to kind of monitor your crypto activity to see where your taxes are going to be. And then at the very bottom here, you will select a appropriate tax plan. And we have many different options. So for the US um, market, we have the IRS Schedule D form 8949. You can also export to TurboTax both online and desktop versions. For the UK, we have the HMRC Capital Gain Summary. For Sweden, Norway, France, Switzerland, Australia, we have reports. Um, for the Australian market, that's a big one for us, we have the ATO tax report. For Canada, Germany, and other countries, we have the complete tax report. And this is a document also that you can use to give to your accountant and they can combine it um, with other tax documents to send out. Or alternatively, what you can do is invite them to Coinly to set up their accountancy firm. Still working on content for that. I know I've said that a thousand times, but we are working on it. Um, and lastly, as I always point out, check your country's uh, rules in terms of deductions because this tax report um, does help you with your with your taxes and therefore it might be deductible. So make sure to check your region. Alrighty, that brings us to the conclusion of this video. If you need further assistance, I'm going to leave some links down below, starting off with the Coinly Help Center. We have countless articles on various crypto tax topics if you'd like to um, further your knowledge on that. We also have a forum section where you can talk to members of our community as well as our staff. And then lastly, we have a section where you can send us a message and we'd be happy to get back to you. But if you found this video helpful in any way and consider dropping a like, subscribing for more crypto content, and I'll see you next time. Peace.